Assalamu alaikum and welcome to my channel this is Afsha and today we are going to make dum murg now dum murg is all about cooking the chicken in a sealed vessel to unlock the flavors of the chicken it's a must try recipe for all those who love mughlai cuisine so do watch the video till end and before that please subscribe to my channel so let's get started now for the dum murg my father asked the butcher to chop the whole chicken into four pieces to get the full size of the chicken legs and the chicken wings you can also take the regular size of the chopped chicken now here as you can see i am making the slits in the chicken so that the while marinating them the marination will get properly absorbed in the chicken so i am making three cuts in the in each pieces and now for the marination paste in a mixer jar add one sliced onion and it adds 7 to 8 chilies and a raw papaya the raw papaya will give tenderness to the chicken and helps to marinate the chicken well now grind them and make a fine paste do not add the water in it now in it add two fried onions i already fried them before and now add them and now grind it to make a fine paste now in 200 grams of curd add the paste we made as you can see here the paste is thick and granuled because we do not have add any water in it we want thick paste and now in it add the spices like red chili powder here i here i am adding 2 tsp of red chili powder in it add 1 tsp of rock salt add 1 tsp of black pepper add 1 tsp of garam masala and in it add some salt according to your taste now mix everything well now in this recipe i forgot to add the chaat masala so in it also add 1 tsp of chaat masala and now in it add 2 tsp of ginger garlic paste and now again mix everything well and now pour all the marination paste on the chicken and now rub the marination paste nicely on the chicken make sure the marination will get on each part of the chicken do like this and apply the marination well now in it add some red food color the food color will give a very nice color to the chicken and now mix everything very nicely now in it add 3 to 4 tablespoon of oil here i am using mustard oil you can use any vegetable oil and now in it add squeeze one lemon you can also use vinegar but using the lemon will give a really nice flavor to the chicken so i prefer to use the lemon and now remove the seeds by the fork or a spoon and now in it add 1 cup of chopped coriander and 1 cup of chopped tomatoes now this will give a really nice flavor to the chicken so make sure to add them and do not skip this step and now mix everything very nicely now mix the chicken very nicely and let it marinate for 45 to 50 minutes the more you can marinate the the best flavor you get and now about half an hour after a half an hour we have to give a smoky flavor so a uh, smoky flavor will give a very nice flavor to the chicken so make sure to do this also and now remove the coal i have put the coal in it for about 10 to 12 minutes the flavor we get from the coal gives a strong imitation of the tandoor and that's what we need and now our marination is done 
Now place the chicken in an open vessel. Do not add any oil in it because we have already put the oil in the marination before. Place the chicken according to the space at the bottom and make sure that each, uh, each part of the chicken gets the bottom because we need an even heat at the base. Now pour all the leftover curry in it. And now move the vessel like this to spread to evenly spread the gravy. And now put the vessel on high flame. And now start sealing the sides of the vessel with the dough. As you can see, seal the sides of the dough entirely to lock the air inside it. As the steam starts to form, move the vessel on iron tawa to evenly spread the heat at the bottom. Now on high flame, cook the chicken for about 10-12 minutes and then turn off the gas flame and let it on the for next 20 minutes. Now after 20 minutes of the dum process, remove the seal and open the lid. The aroma it releases after opening the lid is widespread in our kitchen and is just fantastic, mashallah. As you can see, the chicken looks so good, so serve it hot without wasting any time. Make your family this amazing dum mug recipe and leave comments in the comment section about my video. Now here, as you can see, the chicken is so tender and juicy. I am literally drooling over here while doing this voiceover and I am sure your mouth is also watering. So do try this recipe because the only way to taste it is to make it. So do like the video, share it and subscribe my channel if new. So let's meet in another video. Until then take care. Remember me in your prayers. Allah Hafiz.